there's a reason people don't do this. It's really hard. And there's a reason we were chosen to do it, because it's really hard. The, the notion of why we keep expanding or how or the motivation be behind it to me is just very, very simple and basic. Um, number one, I still see patients and I love seeing patients and so when I speak to patients it reinforces why what we do matters um, and there's patients that need to be seen. But the second piece of this is, is quite frankly the fact that there are communities, whether it's in Florida or elsewhere, that don't have good systems of care. Um, yes, they might have a psychiatrist and thankfully they do sometimes, sometimes they don't, um, but people need to know that they have good services, coordinated services, a much more comprehensive approach, which um, I feel very committed to. It's evidence-based and it is what people deserve, whether it's a child, whether it's an adult, whether it's a family. So the, the idea that there are pockets, probably more than I want to know, in the United States that don't have this um, is concerning and yet it's also the sole, one of the sole reasons that motivates me to continue to grow this and do this and move forward to those communities. I think one of the challenges um, for me or for the organization, the way I, through my eyes anyways, um, that I've learned and kind of had up front and, and early on um, are also kind of go hand in hand with uh, opportunities. Um, the more we wanted to do things and the more we understood that what we did and had set out to do mattered, the more I think what happened is we realized like, wow, there's a lot of nuances to doing this correctly. Um, so that, so part of the challenges early on were like, well, we got a lot of influx of patients and we were kind of just learning. We didn't know how to do things. So we were learning about billing and we, and we were committed to taking all the insurances, which was a big lift because that was something that we were never gonna veer away from. And we were extremely committed to that. But learning how to do that um, was in itself a huge learning opportunity, a challenge, an opportunity. It continues to be something that we learn about, we ask about, rules change, we ask again. Um, and I always think, okay, there's a reason people don't do this, it's really hard. And there's a reason we were chosen to do it, because it's really hard. And, um, and so that's, I would say that to me is one of the challenges, is staying up to date with the right way to do things and continu continuously pr proving to ourselves that we are the team that is up for the challenge and um, we, we owe it to the community to continue to rise to that challenge. So when we st first started the clinic, I had no idea how much demand there was, what it meant for us in terms of growth. I've always had this, um, what should I say, the, the privilege sort of, of having awesome people that do a lot of the legwork, um, which I'm so grateful for. So a lot of the times I get to focus really heavily on what I know and what I'm passionate about. So I was very into setting up a system that gave good care. I really, really care deeply about creating not just one person in an office, but creating a team because that's what I, I, I think and I thought then was what makes, um, allows us to collaboratively work together to assist, support, and provide um, answers to some of or, or at least, not always answers, but at least a, a path forward for families that are facing um, challenges. And there is no black and white answer sometimes. Um, but I do think that we, thankfully, um, you know, I, I, from the very beginning, you know, I, I was with Phil and Phil kind of um, helped often to see the road ahead and say like, oh gosh, there's, a, you know, if we go here, there's, there's this huge community that, that, that could benefit. And so I don't think I had the foresight to know how big it would be because I was so focused on the purpose. That's, well, that was my focus, that is my focus, but um, I was so lucky, I still am, to have people surrounding me who kind of are able to allow me to focus on the purpose and be able to see you know, 10 feet ahead of me and say, you know, this is the next step, we have to prepare for this. So the growth was a surprise, I think, because um, I just didn't know what to expect, but I just knew what I wanted to provide. There was never a point really where I, I, where I would say, I said, okay, let's grow, let's do it. What, I, what for me is always kind of the, the, the green light or what kind of propels me quickly is when I speak to providers who are not part of Elite DNA yet or who are part of Elite DNA and wanna become you know, a bigger part of Elite DNA, 
if I feel that if we find the right team, wherever it might be, then I am ready to go. I, 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 that is go time for me. Um, if you told me they are in Hawaii, I would say we need to go there and, and do it. I think at all, this is a people business. This is not um, simple and this is not a one size fits all. But when you have the right people on the team who want to do what we do, who understand and feel deeply connected to the mission, because that, that is a huge piece. Um, again, like I said, this is hard, so you have to really believe in what you do. Um, when you find those people and they're willing to do it with you, then I think the question doesn't become how, it becomes when. When do we go there and do it? Um, and that's kind of been the guiding, the guiding force behind what we do. Um, you know, culture is super important to us. Having a team that, you know, we just had a retreat, having a team of people that like to be together and have fun together and, and get to learn about themselves, each other. Um, sometimes it's not even at all about work. It's just about the people you work with. So I think those are things that we try to do and instill in our team.